Yo, so in case you did not know, I am currently trying to catch up to My Hero Academia. And I thought for a minute, why not review the arcs that, that I'm reading? So I won't be doing individual chapter reviews when I do finish reading an arc, with some of which I will be streaming my reaction to, I can review it. So let's talk about the field training arc of My Hero. What I love about this manga is that the arcs are short and they are good. Just this week was, this was such a good chapter. I mean, this, this, this arc was so good. So, the beginning of it had Deku or Izuku. I'm, I'm gonna call him Deku. I'm gonna. Some will call by their hero name, some will call by their normal name. It depends on what I think is easier to say or what I want to do. But this was a very good start off to the arc with Deku learning that he can't use his power like All Might. He can't just put all his power into a single punch and do a Detroit Smash. No, what he had to do is, he does something, it kind of reminds me of Gear Snacking, I don't know why. But he spreads it throughout his body, and then he does like percentages. So like he can do like a 5% Detroit Smash. So he had to use a small amount of all for one in his attack. And it's, it's sort of a transformation, it's more of an effect, I guess you could say it's a transformation. And it's called Full Cowl. And that was great, because Deku, prior to this, was just really learning kind of how to not break the crap out of his arm. But most of the time, he would be injured. Most of the time, it was just a ton of bull crap, and it was just really annoying. That bothered me. That bothered me. He wasn't really advancing very fast. This was nice. It was a big step forward. Now, Ida. The stuff with Ida in this arc, we're, we're good until the end. I did not like, I did like the development with his brother being killed by this hero killer and connecting to one for all, to one, to all for one, run for all, all for one, very confusing. But no, he connected to all for one. And we were interesting to that, but the thing with Ida, that I did not like, once it all, once it all, like, being a, I get that it's not really being a hero is a bad, and I get what he was going for, but it's also like, he killed your brother, like, yes, you did the wrong thing, but you shouldn't feel bad about it. I don't like how they're making it out, like, he, he should not feel bad for wanting to kill the man that murdered his brother. There's nothing wrong with feeling that, for wanting to get revenge for his brother. I, I didn't really like that. I understood what direction you were going in and the meaning behind it. How it was, uh, being a hero isn't about killing, it's about stopping and putting him in prison. I get that. But the guy's also gone on that killing spree and it's pretty damn powerful. On the blood, the blood clot ability of the hero killer was interesting. It was like you need to sample your blood and it's up with the blood types. Very, very interesting stuff. Um, the park with, uh, Gran Torino, who was All Might's teacher, was just awesome. I was a little bit disappointed he didn't do more. He's like, he's All Might's teacher. Like, we didn't get a whole chapter dedicated to him fighting. But I'm assuming maybe we'll learn more about him later on. And the relationship with All Might when he talked, that all was very interesting. Turdoki showing up was amazing. The Turdoki. Uh, I, I'll, I'll give you guys an insight here. Chordoki's my favorite character. I love Chordoki. I think he's a badass. He's amazing. So when he showed up, I remember that was what made me decide to start doing my live reaction the last night. Yeah, I'm recording it the day after. But that was what made me decide to do a live reaction. Because I love Chordoki. He's just a badass. And his assassin is father, number two, the number two hero. It's just so good. So good. I mean, if there was anything I didn't like, really, it just pissed me off. It was Edith just sitting with his arm. But I understand the point. I going to say I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of Ida in general. I find him to be—he's not the kind of character I like. 
he's entertaining. I don't like Eda very much. I'm sorry. But this was a very, very good arc. I know I kind of glanced over it. But the important thing is to give you guys my honest, unbiased thoughts on the arc. I'm just telling you guys what I thought of it. And I can't give you too much of a detailed review. Because I'm just glancing over the minor details. There's a lot of good stuff in this arc. I really could have gotten uh, more Urakata. I believe in the manga in Urakata. I'm still getting used to not calling her Ochako. Is it Ochako or Urakata? I'm just gonna call her Ochako. It's easier to say, alright? But uh, I could have done with more Ochako. I really like Ochako from the anime. I really like her. When I saw the anime and, and of course the previous sports festival arc. Because, I'm like, yeah. I, I'm really enjoying My Hero in case you cannot tell. If I had to rate the arc, there are only like two things I really didn't like, so I'll give like a 9 out of 10. I mean, I, you have to also know, I'm not sure how I'm going to handle reviewing this, alright? In a different series that I'm going to be reviewing weekly. When I start reviewing it, it will be weekly reviewed. You get, now that I'm settled into school and everything, all I need to do is catch up, and I know how I can work out the review. Now, when I do the weekly review, I want to make sure you guys understand something. They will be after the One Peak review, and they may or may not come out sometime. There may be times where I may be tired and not, not do a review, and for that, I'm sorry. But, yeah. But, I hope you guys enjoyed my mini ramble discussions last week. Yeah, wait. I'm an idiot. I forgot to talk about all for a while. So, I forgot to talk about two things. One, there was this thing where Deku was lying on the ground, and he had this, like, spark in his hand. And he was like, he did O. Now, I'm assuming that was referring to an O blood type. I'm assuming, but is that referring to something else? I don't know. And the way he said it was, like, he did O? I mean... I would, I, it's been a, it's been a couple, it's been like a day since I read the chapter, and the, I've read like a multiple chapter. I would have to go reread what the quirk did, but I remember it being, I think, O with the weakest blood type, so that can still make that go the O type, or that's something else, that I don't know. But, um, the last part is, of course, one, all for one. Amazing. Finally, I, mean, I already knew this, but finally learning what gave all my his terrible wound, like what could give who I would think it think or through the strongest character in it, in My Hero Academia, like All Might, or at least should be, what gave All Might that uh, terrible, disgusting wound, like that was all for one, and the all for one, like steals force, and he's been around forever, and just, I mean, I know who All For One is. I know he fights all that, all night. I know he does. I'll probably do a reaction to the chapter when I get there, just because I can. But yeah, I also liked everything with uh, Turmeromi. It's his name, like Turmeromi, the guy with the hand on his face. I liked all the stuff with that. Really, really good art. Really good. Short. Wait. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Tell me your thoughts on the arc in the comment section down below. Please don't spoil, and above all else, guys, have a great day. It's a one big nation, signing out.